Hey all, Kyle here, AA0Z. Just wanted to do a quick video on logging POTA contacts if you don't have a general logger. Stick around and we'll, uh, we'll show you how to do that. All right, we're going to use a program called Fast Log Entry. FLE by FL3CB. He has created a Windows program uh, that allows you to enter in contacts uh, very fast uh, and very efficiently or generate a, a, an ADA file. So if you Google fast log entry, you're going to be prompted. It's the first one in the, um, the list here. And we will click on that. And once you download it from the download section right here, go ahead and install it on your computer and uh, we'll bring it up and we'll start entering contacts. After you installed fast log entry, uh, go ahead and launch it. And this is the default screen that will come up. The left hand side is for entering your contacts in a programming style mode, but it's, uh, it's very easy to figure out the syntax and we'll show you sample log. And then on the right hand side here is where your log is actually displayed after you get done entering the information on the left-hand side. The program has a bunch of sample logs to show you the syntax on what you need to enter on that left-hand side. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these sample logs, especially ones for POTA and SODA. So if you go over to help, WWFF and SODA log and load that log, it's going to ask you if you want to save your current file and you're going to say no and it's going to load the parks and soda sample logs so let's take a look a little bit deeper on the syntax on these logs so after loading the sample log i've blown up the left hand side here so we can take a better look at it so there's the header section and then there's the log section let's take a look at the header section so my call here on line three in red is the your call, so the operator that was activating a park, that was uh, G3 Whiskey Golf Victor. Operator, you don't have to put anything in or you can put your call in there. My WWFF, that will be your park. And because this is not tailored for parks on the air in the United States, you'll have to put uh, WWFF dash and then the park number. If you are in park 3222 in the United States, you would put whiskey, whiskey, foxtrot, foxtrot dash 3322 as your park number. And then if you're on a soda summit, you'd put your soda summit in that identifier after my soda. So now let's go down to the log file and take a look at um, the syntax to start entering your log. On line nine in blue, you would put the date function and the date, year, month, day. Line number 10 is your band that you're working and then your mode. So there are many different modes. Take a look at the documentation on the actual syntax there, but you're probably going to be entering FT8, CW, or single sideband. So those are probably the three that you're going to use the most. Line number 11 is an actual QSO. So in green is the time in Zulu and then the call. So this particular person worked G4ELZ at 2202 Zulu. Then on line number 12, there is a syntax shortcut that you can enter in just the minute after 12, after 12 Zulu. So this log, or I'm sorry, this contact would be at 12.04, and this operator worked G3NOH, and then had a comment of please QSL direct. And you can put these comments in brackets. Then he changed bands and went to two meter FM and worked a station at 12.27, uh, GW4GTE, and his name was Dave. And then at 1228, so this is the last digit, so it replaces the seven, 1228, so 1228, he worked 
uh, GW0TLK slash M, and he was in another park, GWFF-0021. So if you worked another POTA park, you would just replace this with uh, WWFF dash and then the park number. All right, now that we've gone over a little bit of the sample log, let's start entering some logs from your paper contacts that I have here. So we're going to give it a run. All right, in order for you to start entering logs from your paper log after the fact, and it's not in real time, there are a few things that you'll want to make sure that you've got set. So in your logging here, you want to be able, you want to choose WWFF plus soda logging or uh, WWFF logging. And then also you want to choose offline mode because real time mode, after you enter in the a line, it will automatically put in the current date and time. And we don't want that. We want offline mode. And we're going to come up here and do a new log file. We're not going to save the one that we've got. And it's going to put these three parameters up here in the header. So I'm going to enter in AA0Z as my call. You don't have to put anything as the operator, but I'm going to put AA0Z. And then my park number, we're going to put WWFF-3362 as our park. And I'll show you how to change that in the ADEF file uh, once we submit it to the park administrator. All right, after we have the header information in, we can come down here to the, uh, the log portion, and we start off with the date command date and year month day so uh, July 25th and now we're and now we're ready to enter some logs so this was 20 meters single sideband so here on line 9 we can enter our first log at 1249 I worked in E1D I sent a 5-9, he sent me a 5-2, and he was in Massachusetts. At 12.50, so I can just enter in 50 because that is 50 minutes past 12, I work K7SEN, he gave me a 5-9, I'm sorry, I sent him a 5-9, he gave me a 5-5, and he was in Arizona. At 12.59, I could have entered 59 there, but I entered the full time. I worked W4DAX. I sent him a 5-7. He sent me a 2-2, two two, and he was in Florida. And then at 1-31, I worked KC3MIO. I sent him a 4-4. Four four. He sent me a 4-3, and he's in Pennsylvania. Then I switched down to 40 meters, single sideband. And at 0201, I worked K8MH, I sent him a 5-7, he sent me a 4-5, and he's in Michigan, and maybe his name is Bill. At 0202, so let's, uh, I'm just going to put 02 here because it's two minutes past two o'clock. I worked uh, VE3LDT, and I sent him a 5-5, he sent me a 2-2, a two -two, and he's in Ontario. And then 0204... I worked W8 APS. He gave me a, f I sent him a 5.9. He gave me a 5.5. Five. And I worked him park to park. And that was WWFF 3321. And maybe he was in uh, New York. And then at 0208, I worked W3 GLH, I sent him a 5.7. He sent me a 5.7. He's in Pennsylvania. And then at, at 09, past uh, the hour, I worked W0MAG. I sent him a 5.7. He sent me a 5.7, and he's in Missouri. We are done entering our log. So the next step is to make sure uh, there is no syntax errors. And you can come up here to the update the log grid. This icon, or you can hit F5 on your keyboard. I'm going to hit F5. And it populates everything on the left-hand side. So let's go over this left-hand side window real quick. So on this left-hand side, 
has all of the QSOs that I made. And let's take a look at this. So the first QSO I made, my call is AA0Z, the date, the time, the call in E1D on 20 meters, single sideband. I sent a 5-9. He sent me a 5-2. The comment was he was in Massachusetts. My reference number, 3362, and the operator, which is my call. If you come down here to QSO number 7, this is my call, the date, time, uh, WAAPS, 40 meters, single sideband. I sent him a 5-9. He sent me a 5-5. Five five. He's in New York. My park was 3362, and his park that I worked him was 3321. And then the operator was myself. All right, once you have all of your log correct and it looks the way that uh, you expect it to look, the next step is to export it as an ADEF file. So if you come down here to File, Save as ADEF File, it is going to ask you the file name. So we're going to call this k 33 62, and we're going to save it as an ADA file. So there's one more step that we have to do to get it into a format that is going to be acceptable by the POTA administrators. And you open up your ADA file in Notepad on Windows or an acceptable uh, program on Mac. And we got to do a find and replace on some fields in here uh, to get it in an acceptable format. I know it's a pain in the butt, but that's just the way it is if you're going to use fast log entry because they use uh, WWFF and we use uh, the K symbols. So this is what you need to do to find and replace fields. And it's a very quick process uh, fields in the ADA file to get it into the proper format. All right, once you have it up in Notepad, you want to come up to edit replace and you want to find the my sig info field and you want to highlight that and copy it and put that into the find what and then you want to replace it with the same parameter but you want to change this my sig info number to six and then the park number to a park number that is compatible with the poda administrators so that is k so i'm just replacing wwff with a K, and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna choose replace all. And you can see over on my log here, it replaced my sync info with the old value with the new value of six and K3362. We need to do the same thing if you worked any parks with the park to park activation. But here, what we can do is we just want to Grab this first part, the SIG Info 9, WWFF. We want to copy that. We're going to bring it over to find what and paste it in. But for this guy, we want to replace him with SIG Info 6 because it's got six spaces. And then just a K because we want to keep the dash and then the park number. So if we click on Replace All... It's going to enter in SIG info 6 and then the park number K3321. You can exit out of that and then you want to resave your ADA file in WordPad. And now you're ready to submit this to your park administrator. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Catch you on the air.